all right guys Ricardo here and welcome back to the brand new video here we are so level and rise will be the topic on today's video so many of you keep on asking me about the shadows uh, we got the new shadow serby what is now the highest priority how to use every single shadow so i will make an updated version of the shadow guide uh, previous video it was a juicy video uh, definitely one of the worst decision from the developers so go check it out uh, I'm still under impression so I'm not like hype 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 on the video or anything like that because I'm uh, that's some shady practice but okay go check out that video so I don't repeat myself okay uh, we got the brand new shadow Serby right and we still have the current shadows tusk igris blades uh iron and tank we are waiting for the big rock which will be an original net marble shadow and kaisiel kaisiel right we are waiting for him as well and i believe he'll be the most broken shadow but we're gonna see uh anyways let we focus on the current shadows we have first of all let me cover the brand new shadow serbi overall this shadow is worth unlocking but please do not do not do not rank up this shadow because shadow's authority is complete trash all team members critical hit damage increased by four and then when you rank him up to elite knight you have all team members critical hit damage increased by seven percent that's uh, literally nothing if this was critical rate okay but we already have uh, egress for that this part they should have increased like at least by 20 percent for example 10 20 at least 20 at least then low-key it would matter uh, somewhat matter right but it is how it is it is critical hit uh, damage increased by seven so please don't rank it up not worth it you can leave it as common which i'm fine with that because you can save up your shadow traces for the incoming shadow that i believe ranking up will be highly valuable the only insanely good thing about serbi is his passive so uh, basic skill damage blah 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 of the user's attack when this skill hits it applies combustion effect combustion deals damage equal to 50 percent of the user's attack every three seconds and increase the damage taken by five percent so guys this is pretty crazy that increased damage taken by five percent and duration is infinitive so every time serbi uses his skill uh you will do five percent bigger damage afterwards forever until the battle ends so that is amazing thing and that's why uh using serbi is worth it but do not rank it up please do not rank it up it would be a huge mistake for you guys okay but definitely in most cases you want to use him because he will increase that damage so that's really really good but don't rank it up uh, okay, let's talk now about other shadows and for what you can use them. Uh, like I said, Serbi, you can literally use it anytime and in any type of variations of the battle because he's giving that simple, simple, straightforward increased damage by 5% but the problem with him you won't use him as shadow authority like almost never like i will never use it what what do i get for for critical hit damage increased by four percent nothing so almost never i will not use him you know so um almost never i will use him in shadow authority uh okay we have as well like you already know we have iron iron is one of the craziest uh shadows because not only it will increase all team members hp uh by six currently now you won't use it a lot unless you're using emma because emma prospers from the max hp but main thing where you're gonna use this guy is the defense decrease defense decrease in this game is starting to be better and better and better and better uh for example you're using sh um, shadow step you're gonna lower the defense and when you use the iron as well you stack up that decrease of defense and definitely by this you will do much bigger damage overall so in many cases you won't use iron as a shadow authority but you will use him a lot as a shadow okay you will use it a lot because you need that decreased defense and when you combine this with a uh, serbi as well you will get that increased damage 
by 5%. This is a really, really nice combination to know about and a really nice thing to use. Please, he's not worth ranking up either. You can chill, don't rank it up. Tank currently, all team members' defense increased by 6. It's not so much usable Shadow currently. He can be extremely helpful, don't get me wrong, but currently we just don't have a lot of characters who can prosper from defense. Uh, and as well, he doesn't lower defense nor anything like that. He stuns. Stunning, stunning can be extremely helpful in some cases, but I still prefer uh, iron over tank just because of that decreased defense. Okay. Uh, sorry, had to pause the recording. Um, anyways, um, so what I was talking about now, ah, bro, hate this. Anyways, yeah, we we done the Serbi. I explain about the iron, about the tank as well. Now we have three main shadow in my opinion. Um, Igris, definitely worth ranking up to Elite Knight, I can tell you right away, because the shadow authority is extremely broken. All team members' critical hit rate increases by 7%. Okay? And as well here, we have an... Uh, basic skill which does attack increase effect have in mind this attack increase effect only applies towards igris you're gonna use him in many cases especially at the shadow authority for cha for example for sang why not uh, and many others who need that additional critical rate up okay like for example seo can also love igris and he not only he can do all of that but he can inflict bleeding as well uh, bleed deals additional damage equal to 0.6 of the user's current HP every 3 seconds. This is one of the best shadows out there. Uh, it just depends on situation when, you go when you're going to need that in uh, critical rate up increase. Okay, uh, When you get it to elite, elite Knight, it's 7%. So it's pretty huge. And now when you look, look at the critical hit rate by 7 and now Serbi critical hit damage by 7 when you fully rank it up. It, it just doesn't make sense. Uh, Blades will have all team members attack increase by 6%. Uh, and as well, he will, he will get with the skill attack increase as well. You're going to use Blades a lot when you need to destroy those normal monsters. When you have a bunch of them, you can use him in the Battlefield of Time, for example. And in many cases, he has that best attack to destroy those little, little monsters, like I call them, uh, instantly, pretty much. So for that, he's broken. Shadow's Authority, all team members, attack increases by 6. This is something you're going to use, uh, especially for the characters that you want to get that attack increase. For example, if you have already insane critical rate with Sung, so you just don't need Igris on Shadow Authority, you can go with Blades to additionally increase attack. It really depends. Uh, as well, you're gonna use Blades on the characters that scale from attack. Okay, that, that helps you tremendously with attack. Um, and th that's how it works. Now, he doesn't do anything else from this except that attack increase on himself is it worth getting to elite knight um, well it just really depends on your decision in my opinion yes uh, i got it to elite knight and that additional attack buff uh, was extremely helpful it is just real question what will happen with kaisel right so we're gonna see about that and now the last shadow is the is the omg task uh so he is worth ranking up let's get real i don't have him yet at elite knight but he is worth ranking up okay it just matter how far you want to go with it you will have to decide for yourself but his shadow authority all team members core attack damage increases by 30 percent that's pretty huge and then when you oh i cannot promote it furthermore Oh yeah, sorry. All team members' core attack damage increases by 35%. So that core attack, mainly you're going to use it for Alicia, and Alicia and Tusk are made for each other. Uh, Alicia goes completely insane with her core attack when you're using Tusk. Have that in mind. Definitely a must sh shadow to have to use, especially when using Alicia and Yoso Hyun as well. It depends you can play around but for alicia this is a must since alicia is the best unit in the game uh this at the same time this shadow is a must and definitely if you wanna you can 
uh, promoted uh, as much as possible. Uh, but you need to, like, you need to manage your shadow traces on your own because you need to know that new shadow are dropping and so on and so on and so on. So be careful. But like I say, uh, in my opinion, Igris and Tusk, you can go to Elite Knight for the blades as well but it's not a must 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 okay but still you you can like in my opinion these are the top three shadows to rank up and then the others you mainly use them uh in uh in common rank okay and they're gonna do just fine the job and everything else serbi you're gonna use it for the uh combustion so you're gonna deal more damage uh, and as well this one you're gonna use for decreased defense for the stun and of course increasing max hp for certain hunters when you use it in shadow authority place and then of course igris for the crit tusk for the core attack buff and blades for attack this is guys pretty much it this is the full updated guide related to the shadows so hopefully it was helpful uh again i did mention few things who you should prioritize uh on what things you should be focused on on certain shadows and pretty much how to use them so hopefully it was helpful leave a like subscribe your opinions in the comment section below and yeah see you next one bye